What is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Hope that you're having a lovely day. I don't know why I move this thing every single time that I start. It's like nothing is perfect. Nothing is ever right. But you guys are right. Hopefully you guys are all right. Today we're listening to Steel Ice Span for the first time here on the channel. Uh, we're going to begin with their track Gaudete, I believe is how you pronounce it. This is off of their album Below the Salt, released in 1972. So Steel Ice Span is a band that you guys have been mentioning and bringing up for a long, long time. We've listened to a little bit of Pentangle, a little bit of Fairport Convention, even though they block songs. And now we are moving to Steel Ice Span. Now, the lead singer of Steel Ice Band, who is Maddie Pryor, we have heard her in Mike Oldfield's Incantations in the Hiawatha section. That is one of my favorite sections in that album, possibly at this moment from Mike Oldfield. I love that. So that's a little bit of a preview, and that's all the knowledge that I come into this with, with just those beautiful, beautiful, beautiful vocals. Uh, but let's let's see where else this goes. This was a song that had been recommended quite a few times, so this is where I was going to begin. I looked up in the comments, because there's a search bar in the comments like for creators and stuff. So I always go to that search box so I can look up like a band and see like which songs have been recommended by you guys and that kind of thing. And one of you in the community is named Steel Eye 2112 which thank you for being here. And I'm assuming you're a fan, but it makes it really hard when I type in Steel Eye and, and your name is the one that comes up and I can't find any songs. But that is okay. Steel Eye 2112, thank you for being here. I can guess at least two of your favorite bands or albums. Um, let's just get into it. Hope that you guys are having a lovely day. As always, thank you for being here. This is Steel Eye Span with Gaudete. Gaudete? Gaudete. <laughs> Hey, right now it's August, but it may as well be December. Okay, we're going to do the next track, by the way, because I know that there's more to the band, and I want to hear where else they go. So we're going to do the next track as well, which is uh, John Barleycorn. Hmm. Um, but <laughs> this, is, this is a Christmas carol. <laughs> I'm a little out of the season, but hey, listen. No matter what month it is, no matter what time of the year it is, sometimes you just need that, sometimes you just need that holiday bump in you. And Maddie sounds gorgeous. 
clear as a glade, like a swan coming down into a clear crystal lake. Um, Jason, not notwithstanding, uh, but like just beauty, just beauty, pure grace in her voice. Beautiful enunciation, beautiful accents as well. I've mentioned it before, but I love when you can actually hear a person's accents as they're singing, you know, just adds a different dimension to it. I, I love that. And you can clearly hear that, especially in the male harmonies as they come in, which, by the way, I really like the contrast between Maddie's clear as a glade vocals uh, with the male vocals, which are a little bit rougher. They're not as polished. So it's a nice contrast, not just tonally between female vocals, male vocals, but polished and, and soaringly beautiful and a little bit rougher and perhaps more, not grittier, but down to earth in a sense. So I like that. It's almost like a nice, I guess even lyrically, distinction between angelic and man. It's kind of cool, you know? Um, and it was nice that it was an a cappella song, but like I said, I do want to hear a little bit more of the instruments, which I would imagine will be featured in the next song. I mean, we'll find out <laughs> soon enough. Um, but the song is apparently a, um, like a, a, a sacred Christmas carol, I guess. Gao de te. Gao de te. Because um, I'm reading it here and it was thought to be composed in the 16th century. So this is the, just them uh, performing that particular track. And the lyrics, which were mostly, it seems like, in Latin, but the translation is, Rejoice, rejoice, Christ is born of the Virgin Mary, rejoice. The time of grace has come for which we have prayed. Let us devoutly sing songs of joy. So, as I mentioned, it, it's just a, a sacred Christmas carol. Sounds beautiful. It's sung beautifully. But I want to hear how the band plays in other realms and other songs. So let's move on to the next song, which, like I said, is John Barleycorn. Let's, uh... Let's go. There were three men came from the west, their fortunes for to tell, and the life of John Barleycorn as well. They have laid him in three furrows deep, laid clods upon his head. Then these three men made a solemn avow, John Barleycorn was dead. John sprang up his head and he did amaze them all, he did amaze them all. And they let him stand till the midsummer day, till he looked both pale and wan. Then little Sir John, he grew a long beard and he saw
they pour him out of an old brown jug and they call him homebrew dial. They call him homebrew dial. La 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 la, it's a lovely day. Sing la 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 la, la 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 la, it's a lovely day. Sing it la. That was a great song, both of them. But this, as I guess, expanded a little bit. Now I got to hear the full band. Uh, I didn't hear percussion necessarily, but I'm sure that comes at a certain point. But it was just nice to get this more full-bodied sound from them. And this is exactly the type of music that, at least for me, I'm envisioning being in a tavern, drinking ale. I don't like beer or ale or anything of that nature, but I can imagine it. That's the setting I would be in, and that's the setting I would find this music in. And you find the bards telling their tales, and the, the minstrels playing their instruments, and coming with music like this. And I think that this is beautiful. I also like how, at least for myself, you know, relatively new to the band, I was expecting Maddie to be lead, but it sounded like she's kind of in the harmonic parts of the song along with other people. And it's actually led by another singer, uh, rather who I would imagine is Tim Hart, perhaps, who's also playing the dulcimer, oh, and the guitar. So that's kind of cool, you know, it was a little bit of a reversal, and I like how perhaps, this is just an assumption, I've only heard <laughs> these songs from the band, but it seems that they have more of a partnership rather than Maddie is always the lead, you know, instead. So I think that's actually really cool, and it, perhaps that gives the songs and the music a little more diversity uh, as we listen to more of them. But I thought that this was a great song. The, the string arrangements were really nice as well. I like how the violin comes in and adds that, to me, like a perfect hearth to gather around. The whole song feels like a hearth, a fireplace, a communal place where everyone knows your name. And you just gather around and just, it's just cheers from then on. Now, I'm incredibly dumb because... <laughs> Because the lyrics, I honestly thought the lyrics were about these people who hated this guy called John Barleycorn, and they were just just working him, just killing him, just just murdering him. And it wasn't until the very end that I kind of figured out, and it's revealed that, no, it's they're making beer. Uh, so the lyrics on this one, they have laid him in three furrows deep, laid clods upon his head. Then these three men made a solemn vow, John Barleycorn. John Barleycorn was dead. They let him have they have let him lie for a very long time till the rain from heaven did fall. Then little Sir John sprang up his head and he did amaze them all. He did amaze them all. They're talking about planting the seeds, watching the crop grow, the men of the scythes come and cut the crop, they wheel him away, they'll put him in a vat. Long story short, at the end of this adventure you come out with beer, which I hear is really, really good. Like I said, I've tried so many different beers. I've, I've gone out and tried different beers, well-renowned ones, not well-renowned ones, <laughs> different types. And I just, I just can't, it's just not my flavor. The best one I've had, and I think I've said this before in another video, the best that I've had is when I went to Switzerland and had a beer in Bern. I don't even know what type it was. It was from a brewery that was there. I'm sure I could find it if I looked it up on maps. And I think that might have just been good because it was really hot that day and we had walked like the whole city. I don't know. But <laughs> a lot of people like it, you know? I'm always open to try it again. We'll see one day. But great songs, both of these. Really enjoyed what I heard from them. String arrangements were good. Of course, the singing was fantastic. And I just like the down-to-earth feel that this kind of folk music has, you know? Um, let me know what you guys thought of the tracks, though. Join me on Twitter in the comments below, as always. I thank you so much for being here. And if you'd like, you can support the channel on Patreon. You don't have to, but of course it helps. 
And otherwise, I hope that you have a great day. Thank you for being here. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.